Hey E36 Fanatic, Steven here. Today I'm doing a video on a power window repair on my brother's 318i. The issue with his is kind of is was kind of really obvious to me. Uh, the door panel's still on it, but I'm gonna pull it here in a little bit. And the reason it's kind of obvious to me is that when I press the button going up and down, the window doesn't move at all. Uh, but I can hear the motor and the regulator moving around. Not only that, and here's the kicker, my little brother's been moving the window around manually, uh, basically to, when it's raining outside, he raises the window up all the way, and then when it's not, he'll lower it to get some air flowing through. So that tells me pretty much that the regulator's not attached to the window at all now. One, once I pulled the panel, it was pretty obvious what was wrong. Uh, the regulator had slid off of the plastic pieces, which are located right here. They had just cracked over time. So both, both, because uh, there's two of them, there's two ends like this on the regulator, they're both off. Um, so basically the window's just free floating here. I can pick it up and move it around. So what I'm gonna do, I've got, I've got some sliders handy from another window actually that I'm gonna clean up. And I got the clips, and I got this one right here, and I got another clip. So I'm gonna throw these onto the regulator, and then hopefully it'll start working again. Here's basically my donor regulator from another another BMW that I had. Um, so I'm just gonna pull off the clips on this one and use it for this regulator right here. So as you can see, window's just free floating right now. Regulator's not on it at all. Okay, so once I'm done kinda getting it set up, I use silicone lubricant on the guide rails. This kind of just helps those plastic glides last longer and the regulator and everything overall. So with this putting the regulator back on, the, the hard part is getting this second one on right here. Um, once you got the second one on, the first one's pretty easy. Okay, so I've got the clips back in and the white sliders back in, so that's good. And when you're doing this, one of the, sometimes people have trouble with these regulators making sure that they're, that, or maybe they're popping out or something after you put it in. Usually the culprit is you haven't put these ball joints in far enough into the slider and the clip on. If you got the clip in on, uh, man, it's really tough to see that one kind of see it right back there um if you got the clip on and everything they shouldn't be able to break out unless they break the whole clip and everything um another issue is see on this vehicle it was really quick to do this because the window had not fallen out of the slide the guide rail here or in the front you see this one right here where the window's got to go into slide into so it had not fallen out of that, it had just fallen off the regulator. So this was actually a pretty quick job once I got the door panel off to do. So while you're here, always, always, always use some sort of lubricant. This is silicone spray lubricant right here. I love this stuff because it lasts a long time. I sprayed the crap out of the guide rails right here, or the uh, window rails here, and the second one right there. And then this main guide rail right here. And then also right here, the teeth that go to the motor. And then finally, this pivot point right here, I try and spray the inside of that. That's where it pivots on, so. And then once you're done, the only thing left to do is you might have to realign it. Or uh, you might have to reset the window so it'll, it'll fit to the right position, which is relative which is pretty easy to do. 